Hey, what is up, everybody? Uh, I'm here with um, a Halo Reach uh, modding tutorial. A lot of people have been requesting a bunch of tutorials, so I might just make all in one video, or at least from the requests that I received and messages and whatnot. So make sure you just watch the whole video as I'm going to show you a bunch of stuff you can do with assembly. This is for modders only, so if you have an RGH um, and you have assembly and you mod Halo Reach, this video can, you know, you might be able to benefit from this video. So anyways, you have your assembly open and you don't really know much about it or you want to learn a thing or two. There was one person that asked me how do I skin my weapons. Well that's pretty easy. You scroll down and you look for mode which you know means render model. You click on it. Now for example if you want to do the DMR for example. Um, you find a DMR right there. You scroll down a little bit. Keep on going a little until you see this. The materials, and it'll say shader. So, actually, you can play around with this because there's like no right or wrong way of doing this. You can just, like, right now, it's on this. this is the composite. Actually, select this one. This is the one, one of these. In the metal, and the metal is like the black of the gun. So, if you like, I know a bunch of them that are pretty cool. Like, there's a white color, there's a red one somewhere. But you can actually just swap them and mess around with them. And yeah. You might have to refresh your shade though if you use a program like Astro or Armory. There's a button that'll say refresh and that's how you skin. You can skin anything, vehicles, you can even skin the sky. <clears throat> but yeah, that's one way of skinning weapons. Someone already asked me how do you do that and that's how you do it. Another step, I already made a tutorial how to make a flying warhog. But someone got confused on how to make like a flying ghost or or a flying revenant because those are um, covenant vehicles. Well, it's um it's similar. It's almost the same idea, but there's one little thing you have to do different. So I'll put this in the description if you want. You call this is this an offset? So you for if we want to fly the ghost, you click on ghost. Type in jet space e. So this will come up jet engine motion. So click on the little eye. Make the zero a one. You hit poke, you have to poke it each time or else you're gonna freeze your Xbox. And then you paste that thing that we just copied. You gotta be very careful. And then you scroll up a little bit. Instead of going to um, engine motion property for the Warhog, this is anti-gravity. So, you know, the thing is lifted. So you click on I and you change that to a zero. And you should be able to fly it. So that's how you do a flying ghost, a flying revenant. If you do a flying warhog, it's the same thing, but you don't go to anti-gravity, you go to engine. Now, just in case, I'm gonna show you how to do grenade swapping. Like, you can change the projectile of the grenade. So you go to globals, click on it. And the way that I get there fast is just type in, in uh, speed. So you can do re uh, grenade regeneration, you can enable that. You know, there's a lot of stuff you can do. Like, this stuff is pretty self-explanatory. But if you're gonna scroll down a little bit until you see grenades, so you can even make it so, you, like, every time you pick up a grenade, like if they're on the on the map, you can have up to 99 if you want. But yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. See, as you can see, <coughs> uh, this is the frag grenade. <coughs> Excuse me. So you can. <coughs> Not all of these will work, but like the ones I know that don't work is the Wraith and the, yeah, Plasma Pistol Bullet. Those don't work. Those will just freeze you. But you just simply, like, and a sniper doesn't work. But if you can throw a rocket, you know, you just hit poke, and now you throw a rocket to people. Now if you want to throw like a Spartan, you change the projectile to a biped. Now this is just the characters of the game, Spartan, Monitor, Elite stuff like that if you want to throw objects you click on block and you know this is like the forge stuff you know what I mean <clears throat> so like you can do you know light this everything they can find in the forge palette is like in here like grids calcium walls stuff like that and if you want to do vehicles you just open up the drop down menu again and then you click on V E H I which you know vehicle and all these will work so but yeah, that's how you throw stuff. If you go to biped, and if you're if you're playing as a Spartan, you just type in jump space V. Most tools already have this, but this is how you do it manually. 
this is your jump height. You can just literally type whatever you want. If you want to jump like, like almost touch the ceiling, you can freaking type in 60 if you want. Now when you jump, you're gonna jump really high. So, that, so that's that. No, another one. A lot, someone actually, two people requested or asked me how I did this. Um, I don't know if you guys saw my other videos where you, you know, you punch me and I go flying across the map. That is that one I found myself and it's pretty cool. It also works off holes. You click on JPT, which is damage effect. Also, when you when you as the modder when you punch things, I'm not sure if it works for the lobby, but like stuff like if you punch a warhog, it's gonna go flying across the map. So if you go down a little bit, actually it should be right here. It should be strike melee melee. So if you scroll down just a little bit. And you should see this where it says acceleration. You, I usually do 30 because that's pretty good. Now, if you do like you know higher than that, like like 100 or something, like it just makes it go too fast. You know, like this is pretty decent for you to punch people around. So once you put 30, people can like punch you around the map. It's pretty cool, and it also makes your melee melee's uh, stronger. So which is awesome. So that's how you modify your melee damage. Now, if you want to make something invincible, like this includes yourself. Like when you make yourself invincible, this, uh, this also means the kill bounders can't even kill you. But you can also make vehicles invincible. But let's start off with the Spartan, because some people might want to be able to do that. So you click on Spartan. You can do a monitor too. So like if you go out on the map as a monitor, you're not gonna die either. So if you scroll down a little bit until you see this, the damage info, you're gonna see cannot die from damage. So if you do that, you're now invincible. You can do this with anything, even if it's, um, um, you know, a fusion coil, you can make those invincible so they never, you know, explode. Um, but yeah, it's the same thing. You do with a vehicle or whatever, it's going to do the same thing. It won't break. It won't do anything, which could be pretty useful because sometimes, you know, your Warhog gets, like, sniped the shit out of. But there's a lot more that, in here that you can do. Also, another thing, if you go to the vehicle tab uh, this one's also fun to mess with for example if you click on warhog and scroll down a little bit you can actually mess around with the gravity like if you do like a negative one it's gonna make you float but you like not enough to like drive that's why you gotta do the flying warhog method but like if you do negative like 4,000 or, or yeah something like that so if you put a negative 4,000, every single person that gets in a Warhog, whether it's, you know, non-modders, they're going to go flying in the air, which is a fun mod to do. So that one's pretty cool. So if you go to the globals again, we were just there not too long ago. So type in speed. I'm going to show you, because uh, people have seen this in my video, and they're like, oh, how do you do that? So I'm going to show you how to make it so every single person in the lobby can, like, fly, like, run, like you know, run really, really, really fast. So as you can see, um, this is the player information, you know, the walking speed and all that. So let me try to explain something. If you do 10, that like like this, it's not going to work for no one except for the modder. 10 is pretty fast. But for it to register with your, you know, for it to work for everybody, you have to do like, I usually do 4,000. That's perfect. So just type of those like that. Like so. And then, whoops. And now every single person in the lobby is going to run super fast. It's almost like a no clip. So, um, yeah, there's really, it's pretty cool. Um, you have to be whole still. This does work off holes, but it's a, it's pretty, it's really laggy. Because off holes, I can't really keep up with it. But yeah, that's how you do that. Also, if you go to effect. So you can do, you can even edit like, like for example, you know when you shoot your DMR, it'll be, um... You know, you can see the color of the fire. You can edit that stuff, but you can also edit armor effects. So yeah, to edit the armor effect, you just go to armor FX. Now here, you have to select one from this one where it says events. It'll tell you the name of it. That's red flames, blue flames, a heart attack, pestilence, and then you know inclement weather. So for example, if you go to you know this is red flames, you have to scroll down one more. As you can see, you can even like change how it looks. You can now if you go on this drop down menu, you can change it with different effects. Like there's a bunch of them. Like there's a plasma. It'll look like a you know you can make it look like different colors. 
If you don't want to do that, you can literally go down a little bit more. See the compile color function, you can actually mess with this. So you currently have red flames, right? So if you make that zero, it's just going to see green and blue. So you can actually get it so it can be green flamed. You can really mess around with that, which is pretty cool. But yeah, that is it for this video. Uh, if you guys want any more tutorials, let me know. Like, shoot down in the comment section, like, ask me what else would you like me to see. I don't mind making tutorials. I like to help everyone out. If you have any questions or if you, you know, just let me know. Hit me up with a message on Xbox. I'll put everything in the description. Um, so yeah, guys. Also, what other videos would you like to see? Like, more tutorials, more Halo videos? Just let me know. I want input from you guys. So I'm only making what you guys want to see. So yeah, it's been Shady here, and I am out of here. Thank you for watching, guys. Peace out.